Hello ladies and gentlemen and greetings from Spain. Well, I would like to record this video uh, before the noise outside my room begins because uh, for the first time I'm coming here at the Spanish under uh, Spanish Youth Championships. It's the first time I'm getting a room facing the swimming pool and the sea and very soon there will be a uh, music playing outside my window so I'd like to record this video before that happens. Today I would like to uh, tackle uh, uh, the issue of preparation and uh, just to give you a possible shortcut and uh, basically show you how to prepare in 10 minutes or so. Uh, bear in mind that this is not possible against all openings but in s for some it can be done. So for the sake of example I decided to, to take the King's Indian defense, how to prepare against the King's Indian defense in 10 minutes or so. So after d4, knight f6, knight f3, g6, uh, curious little move has, be has increasingly become popular and that's the move b3. This was somewhat surprisingly being used by Kramnik against Grischuk at the London candidates and as always what Kramnik does, he usually is very deep, uh, profound and well thought through and it's worth paying attention to. So b3. The idea obviously is to fianchetto the bishop and prevent the typical move e5 uh, but also as usually in, in Kramnik's case uh, the point is to obtain a certain type of position which is probably to White's liking. After the bishop g7, bishop b2 castle. Now Kramnik played e3. Uh, another popular line is g3, and then uh, followed by bishop g2. But uh, in, in this case, we'll just look at the uh, e3 line. Uh, White's plan is kind of simple. Uh, he wants to play bishop e2, short castle, and then see what black is up to. Uh, White's plan will depend on the uh, Black's uh, chosen setup in this particular position. It's worth noting that uh, uh, the move c5 here, uh, natural in, in many cases, here doesn't work because after taking check c3, queen c5, bishop a3, uh, Black is losing a pawn. This has been played a couple of times by Nakamura with White against um, uh, people in Rapid, but both in both cases I think Nakamura won the game by after winning the pawn. So c5 being bad, uh, Black has basically two main choices. Uh, one is to play d6 in typical King's Indian style, and the other one is to play d5, which changes the character of the position. The typical Indian player, uh, King's Indian player, you would expect to play d6. And after bishop b2, b2, uh, e2, uh, black is at a sort of a crossroads. Uh, what to do next? Uh, the typical king's Indian plan is to push e5. And uh, he can do that in, in two ways. Uh, putting knight on d7 or putting the knight on c6. What's good for white in this case is, is that in both cases, after black pushes e5, he will obtain a very similar looking position. So after knight d7... Short castle e5, d5, knight g4, white plays the move c4. And now after taking on e5, taking on e5, taking on e5, uh, white plays knight c3. And this is the type of position white is striving for. It's a very, very solid position, with a, which is generally more pleasant to play with white, thanks to the uh, control of the d5 square. Uh, typical moves will include queen d2, Rook in the center, knight d5 at some point, with comfortable play in the center. Uh, similarly, after knight c6, short castle e5, d5, knight there, c4, knight d5. The only difference being that here white will not take on e5, but will play knight c3 immediately. The reason being that after knight e5, uh, black can take with the pawn. Uh, in this case, the reason... Uh, for that being possible here is that here taking with the pawn is not that good because uh, white controls the d-file and after knight c3 wanting to jump to to d5, c6, knight e4 we see the difference now the knight is coming to uh, d6 and additionally there are ideas like bishop a3 
uh, therefore with the knight on d7 it's not uh, very good for black to take on e5 with a pawn so the third option for, for black is to try to avoid these types of, of positions and play something like after short castle play something like queen e8 and this does indeed lead to more complex game for example c4 e5 knight c3 e4 e4 knight d2 something like let's say queen e7 and now we have like uh, we have a king's indian attack uh, for for black where he has spent a uh, tempo queen e8 queen e7 he has lost time and normally white just continues with the usual plan on the on the queen side with b4 b5 a4 a5 a6 uh, being the typical typical ideas in this uh, this attack uh, black will normally play uh, rook e8 let's just make some moves uh, h5 okay let's say 4 knight f8 and uh, what is important for white uh, here to know is that um, uh, now when the bishop is open a positional threat may be bishop g4 exchanging the important uh, white squared bishop so h3 is a u useful move to make and after something like let's say bishop f5 let's say queen b3 knight h7 rook c8 knight g5 white black may be threatening some sacrifices on h3 but bishop f1 takes care of everything if um, it's worth uh, remembering that this setup with the bishop on f1 and also additionally on knight on e2 coming to f4 if necessary uh, safely defends uh, white's king side from any possible sacrifices or attacks so basically rendering the king's indian attack uh, ineffective this is what happens if black chooses the d6 plan if he chooses the d5 plan the game is uh, somewhat different after let's say bishop e2 knight d7 uh, white can try c4 immediately uh, now black is again at a crossroads he can strike in the center with c5 immediately himself or he can just limit uh, himself to finish the development maybe c6 b6 bishop b7 or, or something similar uh, in the latter case uh, white's play is uh, simple because let's say c6 something like this let's say b6 and now knight d2 and white's play consists of playing b4 queen b3 a4 b5 maybe bishop a3 putting something on the c file just a simple expansion on the queen side uh, this is likely to happen against unprepared opponents and uh, that is one of the reasons why this is uh, becoming popular because unsuspecting opponents can easily drift into passive and, and unpleasant position uh, c5 is obviously more testing and let's say something like dc queen a5 check knight d2 queen there rook c1 uh, soon enough the c and d pawns will be exchanged and uh, but white will obtain a pretty harmonious position black will not be worse far from it but the the, the ensuing um, middle game position is still rich though symmetrical with all the pieces on the board this is one of the more more critical attempts against white's uh, setup and uh, that is understandable I mean, white's setup is not the most uh, ambitious one you could say so there are bound to be ways uh, where black will have uh, good play uh, the only question being whether the white player is happy with the middle game position he is getting so there you have it folks, uh, let me check the time, it was, uh, I can't check the time, well, uh, anyway, maybe it was even below 10 minutes. So uh, actually, yeah, now I see the time, approximately 10 minutes, so yeah, uh, 10 minutes to prepare the, against the King's Indian defense, well, not bad. Just again, bear in mind, this is not possible for all openings, but for some, it it is uh, possible, as you can see with this example. Well, okay, hope you enjoyed this, and, uh, well, hopefully my next video is uh, yeah, coming up soon enough. Bye!